three, two, one, and lift off. After two hours and 31 minutes, the first lunar explorers had completed their research on the moon. A night of rest in the lunar module, countdown preparations, and they were ready to come home. Tranquility Base, uh, Houston. Guidance recommendation uh, is pings, and you're cleared for takeoff. Roger, understand. We're number one on the runway. Seven, six, five, port stage, engine arm ascent. Very smooth. Very quiet ride. There's that one crater on there. July 21st. The Eagle and its two-man crew lifted off the moon perfectly and climbed slowly to rendezvous and dock with the mother ship, Columbia. While Armstrong and Aldrin explored the moon, astronaut Collins had kept a long and lonely vigil in the Columbia. The approaching Eagle was a welcome sight. Dawn in the Pacific. Apollo blazes across the heavens, coming back to Earth at 25,000 miles an hour. President Richard Nixon, who had talked with the astronauts by telephone while they were on the moon, was waiting aboard the recovery carrier to welcome the returning voyagers. The president later expressed the nation's response to this historic mission. Some way, when those two Americans stepped on the moon, the people of this world were brought closer together. To protect against any possible lunar contamination, the astronauts put on airtight special garments before coming aboard the rescue ship. They transferred directly from the helicopter to a mobile quarantine van, in which they would be flown back to the manned spacecraft center in Houston, Texas. July 27th, the journey was ended. They were home again. Ahead lay three weeks of isolation, medical tests, and mission debriefings. Then visits to major cities of America and abroad. The details of their unique mission would be relived and remembered so that others might learn what they had learned and that future travelers in space might build upon their experience. Wherever man journeys tomorrow across the ocean of our universe, history will remind him that Apollo 11 was mankind's first encounter with a new world.